What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing some uh, trimming out here in this paddock. So this, this property is three paddocks. We're just cleaning them up. And, uh, and next door, neighbors got a cracker cow. So these are cows that were left over from the Spanish in the 1600s. They went wild all throughout the woods. And uh, a couple hundred years later, they've, they've basically genetically like bred themselves to be a lot smaller than normal cows and to live off of anything. Like case in point, he came over here and had a lot of interest in these palms over here cutting down. And uh, and he's gonna eat that thing. Like he like next few minutes that, that guy's gonna be gone. He's gonna eat all of that. And um, and they're small cows too. If you look at like, you know, if you look at this fence right here, he's not too much higher. His backside there is not too much higher than this fence. And, uh, and so they're like little guys. Come here, bud. Yeah. So they're little guys. They're not, they're not beef cows. They do, from what I'm told, have like the sweetest milk that you can ever have, but they don't produce a lot of it. So, um, more or less, like the, these were, uh, you know, the, uh, these are original Florida cows. I mean, right here. So there's a couple different thoughts on, on eating these for beef. I really want to grow these. These are like a heritage breed. Um, people say mix them with black Angus. And so what's up guys? How you guys doing? Yeah. And uh, you know, they say mix them with black Angus. So you have like a half half mix and that'll, that'll help give it like, you know, a better beef quality to it. But they're nice, small little cows and they, they're amazing for land clearing. They're incredible for land clearing because you can use a, uh, a mobile electric fencing system and put them in an area say here and just leave them in there and they'll just work that area for you and uh you know other cows other varieties won't do that uh we just finished up all the perimeter fencing at our property so we're like we're ready to go for a cow so if i get if i get two days off i'll be making that happen i've got to get some mobile electric fencing because i want to rotationally graze them i'm going to start with cracker cows just because um it's super Florida. It's just a super Florida breed. And I feel like I gotta start with cracker cows. They're also smaller. You know, they've got four animals here. We've got this sheep. They live in this paddock right here. And so you can see like they've brought this grass down quite a bit. I just talked to my neighbor Richard about um, about you know move like about utilizing a mobile a mobile fencing unit. And uh, he had some interest and he's like, that's actually pretty interesting. Like, yeah, you can use it to trim up around your property. But I am, uh, I definitely want to get, get some cracker cows to start with. We'll see how the beef comes out on them. Maybe we'll mix them with a black Angus. This particular property we're on here has given us permission to graze it if we want to graze it. So uh, eight acres here if we want to graze it. I don't know how many we, how many we could support. I'm assuming it's probably a thousand pounds or less. So typically about a thousand pounds on the hoof per acres. We could probably comfortably go with eight cows here full grown probably go with a bunch of cow, uh, calves probably like 16 calves and then move half of them off later when uh, when it's not so when it's not so productive right now we're in the springtime grass isn't really productive here yet we'll get more light to it um, you know we'll see we'll see man look at those goats man those goats are just they just want at it you know and I know this is a crazy idea crazy idea but I've thought a lot about getting goats and using it for slash. Like if we were, we're, we're actually making biochar out of this stuff today, but if we were to bring this back to the shop, if we didn't chip it, we didn't run it through a chipper, we just brought it back to the shop, the shop and just allowed the goats to work it. Um, and then chip what's remaining or run it through a grind, tub grinder afterwards. Uh, I just think that there's something to that, like utilizing animals for, uh, you know, for, 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 a lot of the stuff we do mechanically. I know that kind of sounds weird. It sounds weird to me. It's just like, you know, because I want to use pigs to start turning our compost chips. So, we, you know, the chips that we do make, I want to start using pigs to uh, to start turning them. I've seen some stuff on YouTube where it looks very promising. But I look at these guys just eating this slash here, and it's just like, man, I don't want to, you know, it's like not letting it go to waste and just turning it into, <laughs> turning it into beef. It just makes so much sense. Not every variety of cow is going to do this, but but uh, the cracker certainly will. He's so small. He's not like a little mini cow, but he's, he's not big either. So yeah, I'm gonna start with, uh, we're gonna get some cracker cows here. We're gonna, we're gonna make that happen.